So I will be peer reviewing Matthew Foley's street art. Um, so while I was looking at all of his pictures, he did a variety of um, black and white images, and then he also did um, color images as well, which was good because um, he had a lot of different varieties. So starting off, um, his pictures that he got at it looks like a baseball game these were definitely really cool um this one definitely stood out to me he definitely showed um one of the principles of design like the lines were very interesting to me because you can see people in the background um and then you have all of these different lines which really made the image interesting um just the baseball pictures in general like this with the sun right there that's a really cool image, um, as well as these ones that he got later on, because it shows that it looks like he was there earlier in the day, and then um, as time went on, he captured photos of the sun going down, and the lighting of these um, are very, very cool, because you can see the sun kind of going down and casting, like, shadows and um, cool, warm colors right there. Um, and then he also captured some cool images out on the town, it looks like. So outside of here, um, the cool blue lights, those are awesome. So you can tell that they're blue, but you can't really, like, see it that well. But you can see, like, the hints of the blue coloring. Um, like with this image as well, you see there's, like, a little bitty, like, dots of blue right there. And then kind of cast a shadow onto everyone right here. It makes the color more like, it's like a cool color um, image. Um, so he took a bunch of those and then he alternated with black and white. And this image is really cool because you have a girl right here capturing, I don't know, it looks like a video of some sort. And then you have someone accidentally like looking and then it's black and white. Very cool image there. Um, one of my f like favorite images. This one's very interesting because you have like it's in black and white, but then you have like the lighting right here is like really intricate and very bright. Um, so that's a cool image. And then I like this photo a lot. They're just walking, it's telling a story, they're in front of um, the football stadium, just walking and chatting. And then these photos later on of the base, like another baseball game or maybe the same baseball game, these are beautiful pictures. The contrast and the vibrancy of these colors is crazy, like the green and the blue. They really complement each other, and then it is like a cool um, image, as in like a cool color. Um, yeah, and this image is really cool as well, because it shows the big light right here, and it's super bright, and then it gets darker. Um, so, moving on to the questions, does the artist generally understand the requirements of the project? Yes, definitely. He's got multiple black and white images um, out on the street, out um, in public. With on, like, There's always people in his images, which I didn't do, um, which is really good because I feel like... Um, it's you we were supposed to have like a lot of people in every image hence like street photography and like telling a story um and then how effectively has the artist used the elements and principles of design um so he's obviously used lines and shapes there's if you look at like this image there's literally shapes everywhere um and the lines like i talked about earlier he uses like contrast. Um, a lot of these images show contrast. Even the ones 
that are black and white. It's awesome to show like the lights compared to like the other objects. Um, and then color as well, like I mentioned earlier with these lights right here. Um, the light blue is so interesting and it casts like a shade of blue on everyone else in this photo. Um, yeah, so he used a lot of the designs, pencil for designs. Um, has the artist effectively captured a sense of the place in which they're shooting? What story about this place is the artist trying to tell? Yeah, so he has different places, like this looks like an out on the town scene. He has the baseball scene. He has um, a grocery scene, which is really interesting to me. I thought that one was really cool. And then kind of wherever this, it just kind of looks like it's out in some park somewhere. Um, yeah, and it just, and then the golfing, like the golfing pictures with the golf cart. Those are all really cool. And they all individually tell like their own story. Um, so yeah. And then are there particular images with the portfolio that stand out as the best? Yeah, I went through and I clicked on a few that I thought were the best. Um, definitely. I think I like the baseball pictures and then these pictures the best. Just, I don't know, it's my preference. I think these down here are super colorful and interesting. Um... Are there any photos that stand out as weak? There are just a few that are more zoomed in, which a little bit more blurry, but you know, I have some pictures like that as well. Um, what things could the artist do to improve? Uh, like I said, some of the images were just blurry, and I did the same thing. It's hard when you're in the moment um, capturing images. You're trying to get a clear image, but it's super hard because sometimes people bump you or like, the picture just turns out to be blurry. So yeah, those are um, the questions regarding the project. And I think he did a great job overall. Um, so yeah, that is the end of the review.